Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome, I'm Maurice Dubois. Kerry Kennedy tells her side of the story. She took the stand today trying to convince a jury she did not know what she was doing when she got behind the wheel while under the influence of prescription drugs. CBS 2's Lou Young in the courtroom and joins us now live from White Plains. Lou? It was a courtroom heavy with Kennedy cachet as the daughter of Robert F. Kennedy, the late Robert F. Kennedy, and Ethel Kennedy, who was in the courtroom, dug in her heels to fight the DUI charge she says she doesn't deserve. In the end, it may just boil down to whether or not a jury believes Kerry Kennedy's simple story, a sleeping pill taken by mistake first thing on a July morning, causing a stretch of Westchester County Highway to vanish in an unexpected chemical haze. Kerry Kennedy told jurors her final thoughts behind the wheel before the curtain fell. I remember thinking how beautiful the light was filtering through the trees at that hour, she said. I remember driving up to the exit ramp, just the approach to 684, the interstate. After that, I have no memory. It was after five miles of erratic driving and a collision with a truck on the interstate, she says, she woke up to the sound of someone rapping on her window. As I recall, he said, are you all right? And I was confused by that because I felt fine, but I couldn't get my car to go forward. He said, have you been in an accident? And I said, no, because as far as I was concerned, I hadn't. I walked around in front of the car and saw the tire that was blown out and the marks on the side of the car, and I was shocked. Kennedy says she came to believe she'd taken Zoldapem, the generic form of Ambien, by mistake after blood tests came back days later. The CVS bottle looks identical to her daily thyroid medication. Both bottles were on a kitchen counter waiting to be packed for a trip, she said. On cross-examination, Assistant DA Doreen Lloyd probed the circumstances of the mistake. It would have taken you a second to read that label, she pointed out. Kennedy responded, I really wish I had. We wouldn't be here today. Would you agree that it was careless of you, she asked? I would, Kennedy replied. A panel of six jurors and two alternates have now listened to three days of testimony. The defense has one more witness, and then they, uh, they could get the case as early as tomorrow. We're live in White Plains. Lou Young, CBS 2 News. All right, Lou, thank you.